this is into the fire. What an absolute pleasure it is to welcome to Into the Fire, South Australia's steep riser in this year's draft crop, the forward with loads of ability, Braden Cook. Nice to meet you, Braden. Nice to meet you, how are you? Good. Well, Braden, you're a young South Aussie boy, and unlike the poor blokes east of us, you got to play a lot of footy this year. You must have been happy with what you were able to produce. Yeah, it was good to get out in the park this year. Uh, yeah, with a lot of unknowns going into it. It was a bit weary at the start, but yeah, very happy we got to get out there. Yeah, definitely. Now, you live a happy valley. That must have put a smile on your face. Sorry, bad pun. What was the young Braden Cook like on and off the field? Uh, just obsessed with footy, really. Uh, I mean, I was, a, I was a bit chubbier back back when I was playing footy in, in the younger grades, but yeah, thinned out a bit and yeah, always been up and about around footy. Yeah, well, you've turned out to be an amazing footballer, so must have done pretty well. Appreciate it. Now, you grew seven centimetres in a year. Can't tell me how you did that, can you? I could do with that. Were you a midfielder before you had before? And do you think growing late has been a huge plus in your skill development happening early? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, especially in the younger grades, I was definitely more of a midfielder, um, sort of a small forward. And then, yeah, in the last couple of years, I've grown... Yeah, masses and yeah, playing sort of on a half-back flank or on the wing or even a full forward. Yeah, it's definitely changed the way I've had to play. Yeah, it would have. You've really come from the clouds lately, which isn't surprising to me because you spend a lot of time up there flying from up. You don't mind flying for the old screamer, do you? Uh, if it's there, you can't really shy away from it, can you? No, you can't. Now, you're such an agile, 189-centimetre player, great in the air, awesome on the ground, and run like the wind. So being a great forward and wing, what is your favourite position? Yeah, just probably those two, really. Just what I've played this year, just more on the wing. And, yeah, later in quarters, I'd like to go down down forward and see if I can sneak a couple goals. Yeah, wing and midfield are my favourites. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, you're a game winner who can kick plenty of goals. Your one-on-one -on -one skills make defenders very nervous. What do you see as your main attributes that scouts should know? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think one of the main attributes that I have that yeah sort of sets me apart is, yeah, I feel like I've got so much more to improve from where I'm at now. Just, yeah, because I've only had one real season at Sanford level and I feel like I can get so much better when some of those other blokes have been, yeah, playing state squad and stuff since they were, 12, yeah, ages like that. Mm. Now, everyone has areas they'd like to improve on. What's yours? Yeah, probably my defending. Just, especially this year with my shoulder coming out every couple of games. I wasn't really able to tackle too much. So, yeah, it's a big area of my game that I yeah, want to work on next year for sure. Yeah. Now, you hit 24 goals in 11 games this year, playing under 18s for South Adelaide. Not a bad season at all, mate. Was there any talk of you playing up and showcasing your skills against the bigger bodies? Uh, yeah, later, yeah, at the start of the season, the, uh, the seniors coaches had a bit of a chat to me and, yeah, we were kind of talking about me going from playing some resis. So I think I went up there for a couple of games, came out down to the 18s and, yeah, didn't really keep in touch too much. But they, they were hoping to take me up later on in the season, but they reckon they just ran out of time. So, yeah, it was a bit... A little bit frustrating. Yeah, would have been. Now, you had surgery at the end of the season and missed the All-Star game. What did you do and how's that progressing? Uh, yeah, uh, at the start of the season, I think it was the Thursday night training before round one. Uh, yeah, just got... Yeah, my shoulder kind of just popped out in a tackle. Um, not completely, so it went back in by itself. But, yeah, pretty much after that, I had to keep trying a heap of rehab and stuff like that but didn't really help too much just kept coming out I think throughout the season it might have come out maybe four times so yeah it was a little bit frustrating but decided the surgery would hopefully make my shoulder good as new and it's starting to get there and yeah it's feeling a lot better yeah that would have been very frustrating and painful yeah, now it was. The, yeah it would have been now, the obvious question for all draft hopefuls is how are you going to cope with the move away from home? Let's say an interstate club drafts you. How do you feel about moving away from family and friends? 
Uh, yeah, it's a little bit daunting, but I can I just take it on the chin and yeah, I find it a little bit exciting going to state, starting fresh and yeah, getting a, a meet a lot of a lot of new people and yeah, make some more friendships. Yeah, it's good to think of it that way. So, Brayden, what team do you follow in the AFL? And do you have any player you model your game on a little? Yeah, through a young age, I always went for the Crows. And, yeah, I guess as this year's kind of progressed and I've grown a little bit more, uh, yeah, I like to think I play a little bit of, like, an attacking Jeremy Howe. Like you said, a couple of screamers. But, yeah, maybe a little bit of Michael Walters in that as well. Yeah. Okay, a couple of simpler questions. If a cameraman walked into your room right now, how would they find it? Uh, a little bit messy, a lot of footy beats and stuff, but yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Just a little bit of a, yeah, just a clean bed and that's pretty much it. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's all right. I've got my own TV, so it keeps me occupied. Yeah, it would, it would do. You have to cook for a first date. What's your go-to? Oh, I'm going to cook tonight. So, yeah, maybe what I'm dishing up tonight, maybe a spaghetti bolognese or a stir fry or something like that. Yeah, homemade spaghetti isn't, isn't bad, I can tell you that. <laughs> nice and easy. Yeah. If you had to perform in front of a crowd, would you rather sing or dance? For, I can't do either, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't catch for anywhere um like my music a little bit so maybe singing but no nah, that wouldn't be too pretty <laughs> yeah you get to invite one person over for drinks who do you invite one person over for drinks uh i'm not too sure um yeah just probably my my mom or my dad just nice. so i can ask with them <laughs> nice if your mum said you were bad at something, what would she choose? Oh, um, I'm not too sure. She uh, she has a bit of a go at me for emptying the dishwasher, so yeah, she's having a bit a bit slack with that. But yeah, that's probably about it. Yeah, I share your pain. <laughs> sure. If you had to play a superhero in a movie, who would you choose? Oh, probably Spider Man. Just, uh, I feel like that'd be pretty cool, being able to, you know, just swing around, go wherever you want, and just run the joint. Yeah, it would be good. Well, Brayden, you're exactly what the Into the Fight loves. An exciting young talent who kicks bags of goals. Add to that fact, you're a match winner. What a great combination. You'll get on that big stage, carve it up, and the big first goal won't be far away. I've seen your highlights, mate. It'll be epic. But one thing that does worry me is your lack of celebration. You can't have so much skill without a celebration to match. Don't worry, mate. I'm here for you. The end of the fire. Yeah, I'll, I'll take note of that one. You're right. My, uh, even my coach made a bit of a comment saying my uh, celebrations were a little bit boring. So definitely take that on board. I'll try right, and be part well, of that. Yeah, well, you can show them that one. Can't say anything about that. Yeah, exactly. I can't thank you enough for coming on my show. You're a superb player and a great guy. Good luck in the draft, buddy. I uh, appreciate it, mate. Thanks so much.